V35, we're finally going to take it off to get the rocket cover gaskets. I did tell you guys I was going to maybe give it a go, but um, being that I'm going away to New Caledonia, I'm going to hand the V35 over to Ben Odgers um, at Kevin Bell Mechanical, and he's going to take care of those rocket cover gaskets and fix the sump that I ruined by slipping the jack off the cross member and yeah, just more of my stupidity. So I've got Top Knot here with the trailer and we're gonna get this car off and we're also got the clutch with us which we're gonna take back to MPC uh, and those guys are gonna sort that out for us. So very appreciative and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a rad day guys. We've got drifting tonight so I cannot be more stoked about doing some tandos with the wife. It's real. Uh, I love, she's really, she's a really, really good driver. She doesn't use a lot of handbrake. Um, and she's very consistent and that makes a really fun driver to chase. I really enjoy chasing my wife even though she doesn't like it when I'm like on her door. It's still super fun and who doesn't like the old hus husband wife photo of like tire on door. Oh, the best thing about this V35 is the damn aircon. Aircon is sick in this car. It's ice cold. It gets me tempted to sell the bloody JZX 110. I think if the kids fit nicely in this, I might just keep this as a daily driver and maybe sell the 110. I don't know. I love the 110 though, so I guess we'll see how we go. We'll get this up onto the trailer. All right, we've just been down here to NPC. Um, to what I was think, I thought I was dropping the clutch off, but the guys at NPC have literally taking the clutch straight out the back and just got onto it and I think we're waiting here like 10-15 minutes if that. if that and they've sorted it out he told me 100% it'll be good now um, they've just given me some new washers to suit and just elongated those holes a bit but again that's something I didn't want to do at home uh, didn't really want to mess anything up and yeah being that it was brand new anyway we're going to go down to uh, Ben's new shop check it out and drop off the V35 all right, we've arrived at the new Kevin Bell Mechanical. Sorry, really excited for Ben to get this new shop. It looks sick. Well, I'll get the car off the trailer first and then we'll go and have a look. Ben, congrats on the new shop. Show me around. I'll wait first. This is sweet. It's your new rig, huh? New drift car. Nothing but the best. Well, I was trying to teach people in my car and uh, it's a bit aggressive and people get a bit scared of crashing it so yeah oh mate you got extractors That's right look at that bct oh tickford oh. look out yeah what Straight a machine oh. this is still leather and everything oh beautiful yeah leather. the land yacht is ready to go literally did it come out manual no this oh, okay been so converted. it's been converted yeah, been okay converted. All, all the Fairmonts come out. Wow. Them. Hydro. Getting ready, ready for, ready for <laughs> yeah. Hydro. That's it. The land yacht. Ready to move some of the walls. That's it. Alright, what else you got? Got a hoist outside so you can wash down... Uh, Oily cars? Yeah. Like V30, car. V35s. Right. Wash it down <laughs> out here. Yep. That'd be nice in the cooler nights anyway. Yeah. Not necessarily working here at night, but Delicious. for race car nights. Was working on that car. Boys? This is where it's very flash. Ooh -wee. Bye bye Z. Next time I see you, you won't be leaking freaking oil on my goddamn trailer. <laughs> Alright, we're on the way to the track. It's gonna be a good night. Wifey's drifting tonight. Scarly's coming to the track. Got Scarlett's bikes, got her bigger bike that she's gonna get to thrash around the track before the event starts, and then little bike for riding around in the spectator area because her other bike's too fast. Um, but heading down there now, uh, we have a bunch of friends coming down to watch kids, or to watch you, but all I heard was watch kids. So it means that me and wifey will be able to do some tandem drifting, which obviously I'll let her get some practice laps in before I go and intimidate her. Yeah. Is that what it is? Intimidating? Intimidating. Intimidating. Yeah. Scarlett, does daddy intimidate mummy? No. Yeah, no, nah, I don't. So, sweet. Yes, Alright, on the way to the track, we'll get there in a minute. So, as usual, when I wait for the wife, everything sort of last minute. So, just running around at the track trying to get everything ready to go. Why are you complaining at me for not wearing a seatbelt car? Shut up. There we go. Yeah, so just running around like madmen trying to get everything done. Uh, we already got drivers here at the track, which is a really promising sign. 
So everybody's here already. And yeah, it'll be good. We got the creamy boys that need to have some tires fitted for wifey before we start. This is why as, as cool as it seems to have a missus that drifts, it's a trap guys. Because then you get stuck not only prepping your car, but prepping her car. And yeah, not ideal, I'll be honest with you. It is cool to drift with your wife, but it's like that double expense, the double the fact that you're the one putting their car together usually. So yeah, I don't know, can't complain I guess. So Chop's just got down here. I just noticed something interesting. He's getting some more testing done on the 33. What have you done here, mate? Nothing, don't tell Nothing, me. nothing? <laughs> so he's testing out. Cause he's cut so much of the back of his car out, he's gone and chucked weights behind the rear axle, behind the diff to try and get more weight down onto the back to try and get more uh, rear grip. It's more to see if um, putting the rad in the boot's really worth it. Cause there's a lot of dramas involved with putting it in there. So if the grip is worth it, it's worth going through the bullshit. Yeah. If not, it's not worth it. That's true. I think, especially for my S13 with a big V8 turbo and everything, mm. it made sense. Oh, you got room. You, you're chasing room. Mine fits perfect. So yeah, I'll be, true. if it's not decent grip, I'm just putting a problem in my car for no reason. That's true. So. And you like to use that portion of your car yeah, as a... Yes, yes. That's a danger zone on my car. So, yeah. <laughs> as we can see. To be fair, you didn't really hit anything. It just fell off no, the other just, night. That's just running, yeah. I think it just tapped it a little bit too much. Yeah. Rough as. Oh. Turbo. Turbo. Alright, so this is the first time I've seen the 350Z out from under the canteen area and I'm actually loving the wing. So, I think it looks pretty sick. Nah, I like it. I definitely like it. I'm just worried. I'll probably scrape it on the wall to be fair. Height wise, yeah. I gotta try not to scrape that wing on the wall. Yeah, all good. Alright, finish getting wifey's car, wifey's car prepped and hit the track. The real, real funny sounding Volvo. Your Volvo sounds a bit weird, mate. Alright, even though she'll get mad, I'm going to send you guys out for a ride with wifey. See how she goes to start off. I've got extra batteries.
the wall scrape. Not bad, not bad. Nice little wall scrape, honey. Not bad. That's all right. Could have done with more angle. guys so we're gonna wrap the vlog up right there um so you can see i'm still alive so i did survive the night she didn't kill me i didn't kill you you yeah. didn't kill me no i mean but you didn't kill me for doing it oh no yeah I'm so tired to do that. good good news guys i'm still here i'm still alive so all that intimidation talk it's still intimidating yeah yeah look Tiana just went for that third gear um, change and it slowed the car down right when I was right on mm -hmm. her door and um, basically we touched wheels and the cars, both cars are fine. I think your right wheel has a little bit more camber now. It might have just slipped a little bit in the... Um... Something's not right in the steering. Mm. But, but it's... Not, not bad considering you haven't driven in five months. Good no, driving. And I know that it's dodgy, so I just drive it dodgy. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, guys, um, we will continue this video tomorrow and, yeah, show you guys because there's a lot more footage. We obviously went drifting into the night um, and we've got different angles and stuff like that as well. So I definitely want you guys to check it out, but just really late night. As you can tell, wifey's yeah. very tired. I'm tired as well. Um, but please, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Definitely let, let us know what you thought of uh, wifey's drifting. And... Um, We'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog, which will get literally straight into the action. I've got other angles of this accident from my car. I literally had a GoPro right next to my left front wheel um, and that got flicked off in the crash. So you definitely want to watch tomorrow's video. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.